My topic for today, let's get straight to the point. It's about the net salary after tax here in Switzerland. Welcome back to my channel. This is Aniam and to those of you who are new to my channel, to my new subscribers, um, I'm a Filipino, I'm a nurse, I'm currently living here in Switzerland and to those of you who want to know my, my journey, how I started working here, so watch this video and it gives you a lot more insight about myself. Well, my topic for today, let's get straight to the point, it's about the net salary after tax here in Switzerland. So a lot of you are asking how much is actually the takeout of the salary here in Switzerland? What is the net pay after tax? So the tax you pay is actually uh, depends on uh, some categories. Well, the first one is um, depends on the region or canton where you live and the second one is the status, of course, if you are single or married, if you have children or if you don't have children. And yeah, so for example, I'll give you um, the example of uh, an average uh, salary of a full-time working nurse. I mentioned it to my other videos before. You can watch it as well, yeah. Um, so the average salary of a full-time working nurse is around 6,500 francs. Well, it depends on the institution. That's for an experienced nurse. So let's take a look on that, how much is actually the net salary. So guys, for example, this is the website where you can check uh, your tax and your deductions. That's uh, loncomputer. You can go to that website. It's actually accurate and most of people here in Switzerland were using this. And as you can see here at the top, you can give your salary. For example, your gross salary is 6,500 as I was mentioned before. You're an average nurse. And for example, you don't have, kin you don't have children. So it is kind of kinder. I'm sorry, it's in German. Wait a minute, we can check. We can check changes in English. There you go. Yes, okay. For example, we had the gross salary of 6,500. And for example, you're 35 years old. And church member, yes, you can also give that if you are not giving um, church registry or church member, you can say it here, no. And for example, the status is single, no children, and you can put here the different type of cantons or region you can see. For example, just put it here in Lucerne. I leave it in Lucerne. Yeah, and you just have to press this one, calculate salary. And you can see down here how much you'll get the net salary. That's the net salary, 4,929.75. And let's see how much is the tax deductions or total deductions in Lucerne. So in Lucerne, you can see it's 24 0.16% for a single person, no children, not married there. And the deduction is 1,570 francs. And that's the contribution. That's the AHABAU EO contribution. You'll see 344.50 ALB contributions, NBU contribution. There's a lot of contributions, some contributions and the pension fund, this one is really good. The pension fund, you can get it if you want to uh, move to another country again. You'll get the, the amount that you, um, that you save on that pension fund. So on this one is you'll be able to, um, your, uh, what you call that, 
your contribution is 354.10 francs and that is the withholding tax this one and it's 677.30 francs so as a foreigner with a permit b or permit l holder the tax is directly deducted on your salary and they call it here Quellen Stoya, so that's a withholding tax, so 677.30. So that you can see the average or the net monthly wage you'll get is 4,929.75. It's actually um, accurate, this uh, website. Well, of course, there's some, some differences if, if you also um, have um, some um, konti lang ang difference niya but it's actually really good and let's see for example you have 6,500 francs and for example you have one child and for example you live in Lucerne still living in Lucerne and we could actually edit and you're married for example so let's see how much I calculate salary and you're able to get 5,285.95 as a net salary if you have a child and if you're married so the tax will be 18.68 percent so the tax is lower yeah so my advantage there's an advantage if you're married and if you have children or if you have a child so let's have a look into another uh, region so i'll show you for example you're single no children you live in Surish, for example uh, Sorry guys, Surish, and you're single, you're not a church member, no children, Surish. Let's calculate the salary. For a 6,500 in Surish, you will be able to get 5,098.10 uh, 5 francs. Because the tax in Surish is actually lower. It's only the total deductions is 21.57%, the all contribution of that. So it's actually not bad. But you have to also consider in Surish, mas mataas ang cost of living, the apartment and yeah, everything is higher than any region. So I want to show you another one as well. So if you live in Surish and you have one child and if you're married let's see how much tax will you pay and see you'll get five thousand five thousand four hundred seven point fifty and your tax will be sixteen point eighty one percent only in Surish. And again, of course, you have to consider if you have a kid and you live in Zurich and your kid is going to the um, daycare center, it's actually um, a little bit pricey. Yes, kaya medyo mas mababa ang tax doon. And another one interesting tax, for example, let's go here again with single, no children, not married type. And let's go to Sug. For example, you're living in Sug. So no single, no children, and you live in Sug, and you have 6,500 francs, you're 35 years old. Let's calculate, you're able to get, see, it's higher, 5,300. 67.20 francs for a single person in, in Souk with 
a total deduction of only 17.43%. The tax is actually very low. And um, also, <laughs> you have to consider as well, SUC is actually, uh, what you call that, a banking and um, businesses hub environment because the tax is lower there. But the apartment and the cost of living as well there is a lot higher than any region in Switzerland. So Zurich and SUG. It's actually low tax, but, but the cost of living is very high. So you have to consider that as well. So let's go to Basel. For example, you live in Basel. The minute Basel is also a big city and also no kids. Let's stay to a single one and no church member. Let's have a look. Basel. So in Basel for six thousand five hundred cross, you'll only to get you're going to only get the net monthly wage of 4,847.85 francs because in Basel, the tax is actually higher. It's 25.42%. So, you just have to see. And also, Basel is also a big city. The cost of living is actually higher there and apartment and everything. The good thing in Basel is there are, uh, this uh, area is near in, in Germany. So they have the border there in, in Germany. So a lot of people living there, uh, they actually go to Germany to buy their groceries and stuff para uh, mas makamura sila or to get cheaper things. Yeah, that's it. And let's see if you're single, uh, if you're, if you have children, or if you have one child, and you live in Basel, and if you're married, how much is it? Are you gonna get for the tax? So you're able to get five thousand four hundred forty-three point ninety. Your tax is sixteen point twenty-five percent. So that's your total deductions of tax so yeah and that's actually the overview it's not it is actually um, not 100% um, accurate but it is uh, nearly nearly so a, a roundup of the um, net salary will you're able to get because of the taxes of different city, it already stated here, and the contribution as well. So you can check this out here. The loan computer Siha. It's a really good um, website. So let's see if you're your uh, Grenzgänger. Grenzgänger means um, you live in, in, in the border of Germany or France. You still live there, uh, you still uh, live outside Switzerland but you work in switzerland because you still need to pay the tax in switzerland so ex for example 6500 and again single no children and you're the grenzgänger tawag dyan ayan commuters in english all single 35 years old, let's calculate. So you have 5,314.55. So you have to pay 18.24% of your salary, the tax. So you're gonna pay your tax in Switzerland and then you still need to pay your tax in uh, Germany or in France, where, where you, which border where you live. So it's actually doubled. So as, if you can imagine, if you live in Sug or in Zurich, the tax is actually almost the same. Yeah. 
But of course, people living in Germany, because the rent is a little bit lower and the cost of living is lower, so it actually depends on, on, uh, on uh, how you uh, manage it or which one is more uh, practical for you guys. So, ayan. So, meron na kayong overview of that. So that's it guys, um, now you have the idea of, of how much you can actually get after tax here in Switzerland and maybe you also have the idea in which region or which canton would you like to uh, live or move. So it's up to you guys, it's your decision if you, if you want to immigrate here or to move here so of course it's not all about the the salary or the money of course you have to take um, some consideration as well of the apartment the cost of living the culture the weather there's a lot more to consider and um, this is just me sharing you guys some info and i hope that you uh, um, learn from it and get uh, some insight about it and yeah thank you guys again for watching this channel and um, I hope you continue to to subscribe and um, to support this channel and I am so excited to show and to share some more of my life here in Switzerland and thank you thank you thank you so much again and if you have any comments questions suggestions feedback just right down below and thank you so much guys